Hello? Hello? Can, can you hear me? <laughs> okay, good. Oh, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> whew, uh, I am a little nervous. Well, because it is my first time zooming in with the therapist, so thank you. All right, um, I'm an occupational therapist. I work with children with disabilities, yes. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I used to babysit my neighbor's son, Rodney, who had Down syndrome. And as long as I can remember, I've always loved children and I knew I wanted to work with them. You know, they are the most precious human beings, you know, just full of pure love. But yesterday, oh my God, yesterday was tough. One of my little patients had a seizure and thankfully we were able to get it under control. But later on that night, I received a call and was told that something went wrong and his heart stopped. When I got off the call, I just, I wasn't able to go back to sleep. I just, I sat on my bed thinking about the child that I could never have. I mean, that was a huge reason why I chose to work with them. When I'm at work, I'm like the happiest person ever. But yesterday, I thought, I can't take this anymore. Because I just felt this heavy pain, like deep in my heart. And for a moment, I actually looked at myself in the mirror and I thought, maybe I should change my profession. And a couple of seconds later, I said out loud, Amanda, now you know that ain't gonna happen. My mother used to always tell me that this profession would be nothing but stress and all of this money wouldn't be worth my tears and blood. But here I am in my 40s, still going to work every day to see those children's beautiful smiles. And you know what? I love going through the ups and downs. I mean, it's exhausting, but it's exhilarating, you know? And that's what makes me a great therapist and friend to these precious babies. Therefore, I know I made the right decision. Yeah. Thank you.